All right, these are the eggs we're using this morning for the scrambled eggs. We did uh, browned butter and thin scrambled eggs. I uh, kind of cooked it like an omelet and then flipped it, chopped it up a little bit. And then in a little bit, we'll add some guacamole and salsa and some cheese. This is my wife's homemade salsa, delicious. She made it pretty mild this time. She normally kicks it up a notch. I, I like it more mild than hot, but likes it hot. I love cilantro too. And then this is the guacamole that Nicole brought over. It was very good for store-bought guac, but um, especially when you make it homemade too. This is a little trick to keep it uh, fresher too. You just fill the top layer with water. Just gently put it in here. You smooth out your guac. You smooth it out and then you just lightly cover it in water. That keeps the air from oxidizing it. So your guac stays nice and green and fresh. We're hitting it with the rest of the four cheese Mexican just to use it up. So that's what we got going on here. Normally um, when I make scrambled eggs, typically I'll use uh, half and half or heavy cream. I like heavy cream. It makes it a little bit more fluffy or the more whole milk you add. Today we went a little lighter though because this is a different type of scrambled eggs. All right, that's the finished product. That's what we're eating here. We hit it with a little Frank's. Uh, red hot sauce too. Sometimes I'll do the um, Taco Bell hot sauce too. We actually like that with our tacos. But there you go. I know you thought it was just scrambled eggs, but you know, we got to use all these up too that we have. They're corn. Yummy. Have a good day.